vampire gameplay. I don't have a lead-in to my stream this time around because I just wanted to jump back into it. I had a lead-in kind of deal uh, when I uh, started my vampire stream in the first place. And I just had to go quickly to do something with my family. But now I'm back. We're back live. Uh, back to uh, check out more vampire gameplay. I just kind of wanted to jump right back in and right into the game. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump right back into vampire gameplay. I know uh, you guys will slowly trickle back in as gameplay kind of starts back up again. And uh, yeah, let's, um, let's do this again. Sorry, I'm just seeing another chat from my daughter. Oh. She got on the wrong bus. She got on the wrong bus, everybody. And make sure that she's okay. Make sure that she's all right at the same time. All right, let's jump back into Vampire. Let's go back to our, see if I've still got Vampire playing there on my stream. Make sure it's coming up on the screen. There we go. We're good. We're back into Vampire. Where did we leave off? Where do we leave off on our story? If I, if I seem distracted, it's because I need to keep an eye on my uh, daughter's texts there. Because she got on the wrong bus coming home today. So i got to make sure she's okay. Oh no, she's... <laughs> she's waiting for the bus to stop somewhere she's familiar with or near home. She's going to be sorely disappointed. She needs to ask the bus driver. <laughs> Gotta talk to the bus driver. All right. Here we go. Present yourself at the Ascalon Club. Right, we just talked to Lady Ashbury's daughter, whose name is Charlotte, apparently. Present ourselves at the Ascalon Club. Here we go. Oh, who's this dude? Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. Hmm? The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What nice. is your business? Friendly today? place. I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ooh. You may enter. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Oh, um, oh, oh, um, oh my, what, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> Why are there, there... Been quite a battle here? Uh-huh. There has been quite a battle here, and I'm just going to sure loot while I'm here. Club has the money to replace the furniture. Were they expecting a battle to happen? Was this expected? I'm just gonna, don't mind me, I'm just gonna take stuff while I'm here. Oh my goodness. Panda, thank you for the host. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you for being here, even though I've been kind of all over the place today. Taking a couple of breaks here and there on my stream. Uh, lunch was good. It was nothing much. It was just a, uh, ooh, a good dagger. Ooh, it's an offhand melee weapon. But it doesn't stun. I want a weapon that stuns so I can drink blood. Um, don't mind me. I'm just thefting things as I go. <laughs> Lunch was good. I had spaghetti. Nothing too special. 
Welcome back, Shotgun. Thank you for coming back, guys. And I'm really enjoying this game. This game is a lot of fun. I'm just gonna walk through and steal stuff while I go. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just taking things. Do, 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 do. Oh. So this is the Ascalon Club. My, my. Lord Redgrave, I presume. Oh. Which one is Lord Redgrave? And what's that book? What's that? Ashes? My good friends, if I may have your attention. Oh. Behold our Spaghetti visitor, is good, good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bancher was no match for him. Your friend? Here, here, here. Awkward. Oh, oh, you're cool? Oh, all right. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Kind of looks like he could be that entity I was talking to. That's my Welcome mysterious to the creator. Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave. Earl of Bristol and chairman of this exclusive association. I am Lord Jonathan Reed, Redgrave. Dr. Reed. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Oh. <laughs> like my sense Please of fashion? Please my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Oh, Lady no. Ashbury expressed on, so guys. your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful My daughter is lost. So not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? <laughs> My daughter got on the wrong bus and she doesn't know what to do. That's the one day I don't have a car. Admire her. Yes, she is. I may even say I admire her probity and her kindness. She has helped me since I was reborn. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never She's a to hutch. The They've gotten completely. out of worse scrapes. <laughs> well, so we're about to find out. We're about me. to see. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord. Do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? What? I speak the Empire? of the Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain. But we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why now? Why have you asked me here? Because the crisis is escalating. Our enemies, the guard of Prewin, have even launched an open hunt. As I see. The only way to calm things down is to put an end to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? No, I don't know who my daddy is. No, no I don't. I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. Hm? But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What I'm supposed mean? to feel good about that? I would that? like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club. And to serve me as such. Ooh. 
I have questions first. Looks like she got on the right bus, guys. So hopefully she gets home now. The one time I don't have a car and <laughs> she gets on the wrong bus. <laughs> uh, Deanna, welcome back. Thank you for the coffee and bagels. Welcome back. I have questions before first I before I join your I little so club. Questions. Please ask. Uh, what is the club's purpose? What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall. The greatest knight who ever lived. A knight? As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. Oh. What does Ascalon mean? What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George. Oh, when he slew the dragon? When he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierced the hearts of all our nation's enemies. Ooh. Um, what does membership imply? What does it mean? To be a member. Does it membership is. have its it benefits, that you swear Lord to Redgrave? The of the crown, that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Am I supposed to obey? Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members, and I do appreciate obedience. Appreciate? Ooh, you tell his official because he appreciates it. Um, I killed one of your own people. I killed Fergal. Who claim to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all skulls. Will his death be an issue? <laughs> Is it awkward that I worry. killed one of your My priorities henchmen. have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Ooh, is that what you think I am? Replaceable? Okay, so apparently my only choice is really to consent to join. I agree to join the club. This is good news. But don't push good me, news Lord indeed Redgrave. in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation. initiation. Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. Hmm. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. Oh. We are going to Strip you naked and My fellow give you members, 20 specs. dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Oh, creepy. Creepy. Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred. <laughs> what club is this? The initiation equals the chasing people naked wearing William nothing but an apron, Marshall. right? Now. This is a vampire club, Deanna. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Oh, is that supposed to be William Marshall's ashes? Yes. I will. I don't feel entirely comfortable with this. This then this leaves me feeling a little God. odd. It is time to testify with your blood. It is time we'll, uh, to sign cut across the, book the palm. We'll squeeze a little bit of it onto the book. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic. Hey, Nurse Crane England's works here, the providing the soundtrack music as well. Nurse Crane's playing some cello. Why couldn't you have played the cello when I was hitting on Lady Ashbury? Damn it, Nurse Crane. Do I like poke it in my hand and then write? Yep. Scritch. Get some blood on the quill. Signing my life away. My unlife. Yep. Oh, ew. What? Mm, delightful. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place. I will not join unless Nurse Crane can join to you. Yes. One of us. One of us. One of us. Oh, all right. Da -da. I've joined the Shadow Cabinet. Now talk to Lord Redgrave. That went well, did it not? It is always useful. Redgrave is a is a weirdo. Especially before difficult. He is a little bizarre. Of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Hmm? Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did hmm. you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. 
All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Bearer. I'm listening. Ooh, Lance According to Bearer. my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic. And your findings were quite <laughs> My daughter just texted saying, Well, this is a lovely tour of the town. <laughs> I'm glad she's got that outlook. Scowls are linked to the epidemic. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. Yes. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the scowls. That doesn't make sense. Some scowls are peaceful. I have met peaceful and wise scowls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Scowls are hideous, shameful creatures that give oh, all There we go, a the whole pure blood so thing. Is there like muggles in this I uh, vampire world? The city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And mm. how would cleanse you know them. Proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. By you all means a necessary. Of the Club and you have carte blanche. Carte blanche. The locals, follow all I want carte blanche. And get results. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I got a new mesmerized level. New citizens available to kill. <laughs> Find the sources of infection in the West End. Lord Redgrave wants me to use all my medical knowledge to pinpoint and stop all the possible sources of infection in the West End. He seems very worried that the epidemic might spread... Wealthier might spread to wealthier boroughs of London, thus raising the chance of infecting Britain's elite. Oh, well, we want to keep the elite uh, healthy. I will attempt to root out the cause of the infection. I believe I should start by interrogating all the local inhabitants I find to gather all possible information about any unusual activities related to the epidemic in the vicinity. Ask locals about possible source of infection in the West End. Now, apparently, I'm also from the West End. I'm a West End boy. West End boys. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Are these guys count as locals? Should I be talking to the people in this room? Hello. Hello. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel? Aloysius. That is an awesome name. Figuratively. I'm perfectly fine. I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do He's not just a laugh. West End boy. The Ascalon Club has Living. tried and tested policies. <laughs> He's just a West End boy. May I Living in a bloody are, world. So why would you be interested? <laughs> well, as you seem in to be the, the only neck. man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention Oh, he's a human. Yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere do you need medical attention, Aloysius? I am Aloysius Dawson. Aloysius? Aloysius? That's not how you... It's Aloysius. You're famous. What's he famous for? Mr. Dawson. Of Dawson and Dawson. The wealthiest man in England. The wealthiest man in England? It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Oh. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. I can let a little blood, take a little uh, nippity nip, I have spent give you a little uh, pick me up. The world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely Ooh. not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. Oh, how do you Cast plan to do that? The ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. What might that be? Money can't solve everything. Uh, let's ask him about the situation in the West End. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. I'm supposed to. He told me to ask people. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're Ooh. right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. Oh, what tell me your plan. plan 
Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. <laughs> a formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from nice. the infected masses. <laughs> Uh, it's dangerous. By doing so, you would create two separate ghettos. What if the disease gets past the wall? <laughs> the results would be disastrous. Not if we and I, does nobody walls build walls better than you, Aloysius? As soon as they appear. <laughs> he builds the best Necessary walls. Sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns. That's a common misconception, Aloysius. Is what the city needs, and it needs it now. Oh. Okay, he's not much help about possible sources of infection. All right, let's go talk to locals then. Fine then. Let's go meet the local wildlife. Oh, place is still pretty messy. Got a lot of tidying up to do. A lot of tidying up to do. Da, 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 da. Huge, huge walls. Sounds good, shotgun. Huge. Guys, let me tell you about this wall I'm going to build. And Charlotte's going to help Red me build Grave it. Just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Ooh. Lord Redgrave just intimated. Okay. Should I talk to Charlotte? Charlotte. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Okay. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Oh, what was strange about this house? No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the hmm. eastern part of this neighborhood. All right, I'll check it out. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Reach the first source of infection. Okay. All right, let's try it out, and I'll talk to people along the way. Don't let any stranger... Hello. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Don't you recognize your oldest friend, Clarence? What? Oh, Clarence Crosley. Clarence Crosley. How well, that's the dude who wrote the uh, oh, brochures so on vampires. The war too. So sorry, I didn't recognize you. At He's first. a buddy. I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. Mm, we're a little changed since I the war. Guess it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. <laughs> My daughter just texted me to say, as Bilbo would say, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> I'm glad she has that outlook on it. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. If you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Malanies, yes. Uh, what about the Malanies? Yes, I've heard of this house. What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Ooh. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. I'm gonna go find out. Do you need Do any you need medical, medical help? Assistance, Clarence. It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? Oh, he needs treatment for migraine. I don't have that. Sorry. I will see you later. Sorry, you don't know how rest. to treat migraines yet. You should try to sleep. All right. Let's uh, continue making our way to the Mullaney household. And we'll chat with any people that we meet along the way. I want to keep going. Nope, that's not the right way. Okay. Is it the right way? Is this the right way to the Mullaney household? Oh. Seems I'm... Okay, maybe I will go back this way. Maybe I will go back this way. I really should get my Nightbot fixed. 
to give my Discord and my Twitter. Sniffing around here. I need to find out what they're after. Yes. Ooh, rage! Boom, 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 boom. Down you go! Down go the pre-win. Oh, there's another dude over there. Still another dude over there. What do we got here? Quarantine. Contagious disease. Hey, my dude. It's elite. Claws! Oh, I'm gonna drink your blood. Way more work than it should have. <laughs> I'm gonna drink his blood! Rage! Yeah, down you guys go. What? What? Man, that took way more than it should have. Autophagy. Get my health back up. Ooh, I can use the blood that I drink from these people to uh, regenerate my health. Deanna's going to lurk. Sounds good. I was going to let you tell her that going on adventure <laughs> builds character. Yeah, that would that would do it. Thank you for the lurk, Deanna. Okay, I gotta reach the first source of infection, the Mulaney House. What's this? Grease. <laughs> Somebody just left grease lying around in the middle of the street. Beware. Beware. Is this it? This seems like this should be the place. This feels like this should be the place. Knock, knock. No? Can I, I was just going to say, can I poof anywhere? Ooh. Is this their home? Let me just do a little uh, looting, you know? Just pick up some stuff while I'm here. Might as well pick up a few things while I'm here, you know? No harm in it. No harm in it. Uh, apparently I have to go downstairs. Am I in their house right now? Oh, I got some opium and a oh. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. <laughs> she says she's kind of enjoying this now. <laughs> well, I'm glad she's enjoying it and she's not flipping out. Speaking of flipping. Da -da -da -da. Hello, Mulaney household. Knock, knock. Don't worry, I'm just a vampire doctor. <gasps> sleeping? Sleeping? <laughs> what? Oh, she's messed up. She's messed up. Doris told me I could have been a great actress. Doris? You killed your family. They mocked my Oh my goodness, guys. Boss fight! Rage! Boom! Eat claw! Eat some claw! That's right, take some more claw! She's got poison. She's got poison! Ew! She's puking on me. Ew! Ew! <laughs> She's puking! <laughs> no, you don't. I'm gonna drink your blood, Elsa! She's got. She's. I'm drinking her poison blood! <laughs> that does not seem like a smart idea, but oh well. <laughs> Eat up my health. <laughs> Stop puking! Take, take the claw! Rage! I've seen such a radical mutation. Yeah, gross. She's like a puke vampire. Evolution. That was gross. That was very, very gross. Gather information in the first source of infection. Is this stuff still poisonous? 
I can hear it sizzling. You. All the bosses puke. They do. <laughs> All the bosses so far have been puking. Oh. I think my daughter might be home, but we'll see. Gather information about the first source of infection. Ooh. Letter from the Fletcher Acting School. Dear Elsa, it's with the greatest joy that I confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness to perform for me last week convinced me that you have what it takes to be a real actress. Wit, stature, and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school, since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose the full potential of my students. So please, remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris Fletcher. So, hmm. this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Oh, I don't know what that tells me about the infection. Or did she get infected by the school? Wop wop wah. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? Did you get infected by the Doris Fletcher acting school? Okay, let's investigate. 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 Oh, we can't open that door. Can't open that door, apparently. That just goes outside. I don't want to go outside yet. I want to... Investigate. Apparently I gotta search more. Do I need to go upstairs more? Didn't I just come downstairs to... Anything? Ooh. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. You. He was a victim of brutal torture. Oh, Elsa. What have you done, Elsa? Oh, I'm all done here. Ask locals about possible sources of infection in the West End. Okay, I found everything I could in this house, apparently. All right. So we found out a clue. A clue! Well, I'm lucky that my cape coat can withstand the puke. Well done, Cape Coat. Okay, ask locals about possible sources of infection in the West End. Dead inside. Alright, I guess we'll just wander around and look for locals. Okay. I seem to be heading in the right direction. Now I just need to find locals to question. District status stable. Um, all right, yeah, let's wander around here. Let's look for more uh, peoples to chat with. Hey, you made it back. I went on an adventure. You went on an adventure. <laughs> She's back, everybody. She made it. She survived! On the outside. Everybody on the stream has been watching with rapt attention. Is she gonna make it? <laughs> Is she gonna make it? I've only seen one person play it. What's the appeal? What's the appeal to a uh, vampire? Um, it's a neat concept. It's a neat idea. Not too many games out there where you actually play a vampire in gameplay. So it's kind of cool. You get to play a game as a vampire. I find the story very compelling. The story is compelling and interesting. Um, characters are interesting. I feel like I'm... Oh, thank you very much. Look at that. You got home and I get a cookie. I feel like there's a story I get to unlock and discover. So, yeah, in Turbulent, that's what I would say is the primary appeal of this game for me. Where am I going? I'm entering someone's house. Oh, it's the Ascalon Club. <laughs> I got back into the Ascalon Club. Okay. My bad. Oh, and I got uh, a cookie. My daughter has just gone in into uh, making cookies. So this is her, one of her creations. 
which I shall enjoy. Hmm, that's good. About a year or two ago, she got into making desserts, and we've been reaping the benefits ever since. Is there anybody around here to talk to you? Oh, hello. Good evening, miss. Did Can she make I enough help? for all of us? <laughs> I'm a doctor. You'll never Dr. find Jonathan out. Reed. I am. I am. Not tonight, she didn't. Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Mm. Where are the rats? The rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. What? Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. Mm. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. She's the latest. Now, what's that TV show of uh, my strange addiction? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry. Rats, rats, many Ooh. rats around that big house. Funny smell too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, Ooh. no life. That should left. be easy to spot. Can I help you, Miss Billow? I'm a doctor. The rats. I need them. <laughs> I'm not gonna get you rats. <laughs> I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. All right. Apparently that wasn't very helpful. Just talking about rats. Locals. Locals. I need to talk to locals. No locals? Alright, keep searching, Hutch. Just <laughs> simmer down, rat muncher. <laughs> yep. She has bizarre appetites. Oh, this looks like some kind of marketplace. Hello, my dear fellow. Who are you? Good evening, old chap. Oh, it's my friend. Are you alright? Clarence I Crossley. I lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Hmm. I already asked about local sources of infection. Should I ask I'm him again? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. If you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging mm, to... I was just there. The Mimanies. Yes. What a not enough... Well, yeah, we already found out about that. Clarence. You should try to sleep. I need to find more peoples. Peoples I haven't talked to. I need to find people who I haven't met yet. I need to meet more peoples. No, not bad. Oh. I'm, I'm guessing all the people I need to meet are in this uh, red circle on the map. I'm guessing. Searching, searching, searching. That's the Ascalon Club there. I've talked to her. I've talked to Charlotte. That takes me outside the circle. That definitely takes me outside the circle. Is there, like, places I can go inside to talk to people? Oh, here we go. Calhoun's shop. Oh, Mr. Calhoun, I presume. Please forgive me. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a monocle. Look at that guy's beard. This guy might be my favorite character so far. And he has a great voice. I'm Dr. I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome, Welcome Dr. To Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have this guy knows what the hell he's talking about, no matter really. what it is. <laughs> Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my the favorite McPhersons. Restaurant. I love this guy's they voice, accent. Too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but... 
but I'll investigate anyway. Amazing. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. Somewhere bridge. north of the railway bridge. If I remember rightly. Do you need medical help? There is no need for that, my good friend. I'm quite but all right. I appreciate your concern. I appreciate your concern. Can I think we're buy? Look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Um, oh, it's all ingredients. But you don't got, like, recipes for me? Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's not much better. Okay. Reach the second source of infection. I'm on it. The second source. Source. I can't say his. I can't do his voice. Second source of in source of infection. Clarence. I wish I could do that guy's accent. Because he had an amazing accent. Closer. Closer. Okay, where am I going? I'm going to someone's house. Not that house. The McPhersons. Looking for the McPhersons. Wait, where's that? Oh, it's behind me? Behind me? Well, the compass seems to indicate it's this way. Oh, it's on the other side of that. Okay. Okay. That be if this game is is really great and turbulent. The only criticism I would have of it is navigating around areas gets a little unnecessarily tricky. I don't think it should be so difficult to get to certain areas on the map. And I'm not sure why they did that. If they did it to try and create some sort of challenge mechanic, if it was like this, that will is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? Okay. See, like that. Like I, why, why make it difficult for me to get in there? I'm not sure. I don't see the purpose it serves. So maybe I can get around this way. Oh! Oh, here's that woman! Oh, the beastie! Oh, it's another puking! <laughs> Rage! Oh, yeah, she's going down! A beastie! Oh, my God, chop it up, chop it up! Chop up the beastie! Also, oh, that uh, woman that was puking, she's a pukey vampire. That's why she was making that... That weird, bizarre sound. Okay. That makes sense. Shotgun shells from that guy's dead body. Alright. Can I poof somewhere? Or do I have to knock at a door here? Because this seems to be where I'm supposed to go. How come it doesn't see this is this is the only part I would find frustrating about the game it just it's just way too unnecessarily involved to get to different places it shouldn't be like that involved if they want people like I just don't get why the why that's a good challenge to have in a game oh hello oh <laughs> yeah you're not <laughs> you're not happy <laughs> Puking! Oh, I need to drink someone's blood! I need to drink someone's blood! Give me your blood! Yeah! Rage! I need to get my health back up here. Okay, she's dead. Whoa! Need to get my health back up. I'm gonna drink this guy's blood. I'm gonna drink your blood. He resisted it. Oh! Get my health up. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 there we go. Give me your blood! Woo! Oh, pff. as soon as I heal up, he knocks me down. Give him the claws! Man, this guy's fast! Oh, he's drinking! Don't drink my blood! Down you- man, that guy was annoying! That guy was way more annoying than he should have been. Gotta regenerate my health a bit more. Man. Man! A lot of running around, it's true. Did you miss anything? We're investigating the source of the infection in the West End in Turbulence. <laughs> so sorry, cops. It's immerse Caps. It's immersive! <laughs> Immersion! Okay, here we go. This might be the second source of infection here, everybody. We're investigating the source of the plague in the West End of London. Remarkable pump-action shotgun? What? How do I use this? And does it stun? It does damage. It doesn't really stun. So I can use it, but... I'd have to, like... Hmm. I'd have to use it as, like, an offhand weapon. Although... No, I'm not gonna put that... in there. Hmm. See, I like being able to stun people so I can drink their blood. Otherwise, I would use it. It's a pretty good shotgun to have, though. It's pretty good. And I like how they have the uh, coloring to indicate how high level the item is. Um, da, 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 da. Hey, hey, oh, what is it? What's going on? Wait. <laughs> no. I didn't want to leave you infected the whole family. We gotta go upstairs. Oh, what's going on here, guys? Oh, they're both attacking me. <laughs> Amazing rage. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> he killed me in one go. <laughs> Oh man, those guys were tough. You have been defeated. I hope it uh, restarts me with full health when I get back in because, whew, that was, uh, that was nasty. Yes, full health, amazing. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. All right, now I'm ready for these two. Now I'm ready for them. Rage! Yeah! Take the claws! Oh, okay, don't take claws. Oh, because I don't have any blood. That's why I can't take the claws. Man, these guys! Drink your blood! Take the claws! And I'm gonna get my health up. Whoa! Oh, they're drinking me! Oh, man! Man! Oh, my goodness! I gotta get my health back up! Man! Maybe the shotgun would have been uh, more useful. Oh, no, 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 no! Rage! We gotta rage now! Okay, we also gotta end this uh, two-on-one uh, fiasco here. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Dodgy dodge. No! Stop puking! Oh, man, these guys are tough! Okay, I might have to use the shotgun. Just because these guys are so tough, I'm gonna have to switch that over. So much for drinking blood, I gotta shoot him with a shotgun. I think that might be the only thing to do. Use my rage powers and shoot him with a shotgun. So we'll give it a try. I rise again. 
And my cape coat is perfectly intact. Okay. Let's... Um... First of all... Let's increase the damage down. Oh, I can only upgrade a weapon using a workbench. How do I get this set up into my inventory? Equip something here. Um... How do I use... Oh. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's give this a shot. Let's see if this works any better against these people. We'll rage first, then I'll use the shotgun. Rage! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, that's good. Well, the shotgun is good. Woo! That's right! Eat it! Oh, gotta reload! Oh! <laughs> Am I out? No, don't drink my blood! Okay, so, now let's see if I can switch over um, to common pistol. Maybe we'll uh, enable that. <laughs> oh my goodness, so funny. Rage! Oh yeah, down goes Roger McPherson. That's right. No, don't drink. <laughs> Woo, down they go. Okay, okay. That was better. I felt better about that fight after I started using guns. <laughs> All right. Get some parts there. All right. Gather information. In the second source of infection. Alright, we gotta get some info here, guys. Gotta find out what drove the McPhersons mad. What drove them to such madness? Darling, thank you for the... Uh-oh. Thank you for the precious perfume and the fur coat. I can't wait to feel your hands on my shivering skin. For only you, my hero, can make me feel that desired. Please come back to me soon, for I'm dying to press my timid bosom to your chest again. Yes, my beloved, my precious. Come back to me, and I promise you a night of eternal and unbridled passion. Right now, I'm wearing nothing but your last gifts. Oh yes, I'm burning for you. And I can't wait for you to share my untamable lust. Your devoted Doris Fletcher. Dun dun dun. I think Doris Fletcher so is bad news, everybody. She's the source of the epidemic, I think, guys. Ooh, it seems that two, the two sources of infection I found in the West End are related to Doris Fletcher, one of the most famous actresses in England. I remember seeing her perform before the war and must admit she was astonishing. I have decided to go to her acting school to see if I can discover anything about her involvement in the actual crisis. So we have to locate Doris Fletcher's theater. We're going to the theater. All right. Looks like I looted the room. We got to find a hideout so we can uh, evolve ourselves here. All right. Poof. Doris Fletcher seems to be the missing link here. It can't just be a girl. Uh, bye -bye. I could go to her. Choppity chop. Whoa! One of those fast dudes again. I'm gonna chop you up. Boom! Oh, I don't like these fast dudes. I don't like them at all. I'm gonna chop you up, fast dude. Down you go. I'm gonna boost my health up here. Okay, so I gotta find a hideout. 
so I can get my vampire back up to speed. Okay, Doris Fletcher's Theater is over there. I've got a hideout over that way. That is where I will go. That is where I will go. To my hideout. This door has been unlocked. There we go. Let's go to our hideout so we can get healed up and evolved up. Guys, how are you doing? How are you hanging in there? Uh-uh. 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 Oh, man. <laughs> Take some gun! I need to heal up. <laughs> I need to get that uh, stake in order. Where's my inventory here? My common stake in there. No! Oh. <laughs> this is a little bit of a uh, tougher zone than I found myself in before. You have been defeated. I figured that. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. The pain will never stop. Amazing. Thank you, vampire, for informing me of these conditions. Locate Doris Fletcher's theater. Locate the theater. First, we have to go to my hideout so I can get evolved up and ready for more fights. Drink his blood! Yeah. Whoa! It's like a chuck. Whoa! <laughs> What's with these guys taking chunks out of me here? You give me that blood! Yeah, you know it's gross pukey blood. Ow! Come on. Seems weak. Oh, take some claws! That's right. Down you go! Oh no! I got Oh! I'm almost dead! <laughs> Autophagy! Oh! I'm like... Why am I bleeding? Oh, I gotta get out of there! I gotta get out of there, I'm bleeding! No! Don't chase me! <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm a live! I'm a live! Oh man, I gotta kill this thing before I can get out of here. Okay, let's use the rage. Let's use the rage. No! Man, so annoying. Way more tough than it should be. Alright, no problem. No problem. I'm just gonna get to my hideout now. And then uh, we're gonna rest up. Take a little... little nappity noo A little sleepy do. This is no nope. Place for you. nope. 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 Oh. <laughs> I need to go back. Oh! No! <laughs> Where's my hideout? <laughs> my hideout is... Oh, right here. Woo! Hideout! Where's my hideout? My hideout should be here! <laughs> Where's my hideout? Oh yeah, fight! Fight! You guys fight. While I get to my hideout. Oh, my hideout's up there, but I probably can't get to it because of this fight going on. Oh, 
pukey zombie. Stun ya! Okay, I'm not gonna stun ya. Man. What? How did I die? How in the world did I die? Oh man, I need to level up. I need to level up my butt. All right, here we go. Trying to get to my heart. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get to my hideout. Poof! There, see? Reed's Mansion. <gasps> Reed's Mansion? Is this my home? <gasps> this is my home. This is my family residence. Wow. Oh, wait. Refill all. Okay. Wow, this is my pad. Alright, let's evolve up. Okay, things that cost a thousand points is what I want. Uh, let's do the hard biting update. Two plus six hundred percent damage. Nice. Let's do physical prowess. Let's increase that. Um, let's increase big thirst. So I can get more blood when I bite a vampire. Fast regeneration. Increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. Um, I think these are like. 1300 each. That one's a thousand. And let's increase our health. So we can take more damage. I'm level 19 now. That should make me uh, a little more useful against those level 24s I've been fighting. The following night. Ooh. Someone. Clarence Crosley has a migraine. He has a migraine. All right, here we go. So this is my family's home. Can I make uh, anything else here? Let's analyze that. Man, I keep finding these serums, but I want to find more cures. Is what I want to find. Okay. So we'll stay there. Um, actually, no, I can upgrade my shotgun. Let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade the shotgun. Um, increase damage dealt? Yeah. Let's increase the damage of the shotgun. Oh, can I, like... Oh, yeah, let's make it a perfect pump-action shotgun. Make it even stronger. Rivet. Can I get any rivets? Can I recycle anything to get rivets? Anything there? No. Oops. I need a few more rivets to increase the damage dealt by 10%. Good, good. Oh, wait. I think I understand how this upgrade system works a little better now. Maybe I don't. <laughs> Maybe I don't. All right. So this is my home. This is my pad. It's not stealing when it's my own pad. Mama! That's my mama. Oh, hey, mom. Hi, ma'am. Okay, where am I going? I'm going towards Whitechapel. 
All right. Let's go to Whitechapel. West End. All right. See what kind of trouble we can get into in the West End of London. In the West End of London, there are grody people, and I must escape from the West End of oh, crap. <laughs> crap. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone that way. <laughs> Stop puking on me! Drink your blood! That's right, down he goes! Get the claws! Oh, there's more of them! Right? Back. Come on back, fast moving guy. That's right. Now give me some blood. And then you get the claws. Down you go. Try to take me out, you get the claws. Which way? Not that way. Don't want to go... Don't want to go that way. Can I go that way? I'll try it. I'll try going that way. I'm not very confident about it. Considering how this game has tended to uh, operate. I'm not confident about my chances. No, see? There's a wall. Oh! I can get through the wall. Amazing. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> what's I don't know what that soundtrack is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Give me your blood. Stop beating me up. Stop beating me up. And just let me drink your blood. Nope. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. No! Yeah, now I'm gonna drink your blood. Look at that, I got a ton of blood back in that. Eat my rage! Down you go. Eat my rage. <laughs> what is that? What am I saying? Eat my rage. Ugh. Am I going the right way? Going the right way. Going the right way. No! 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 You see nothing! I'm trying to find the theater! Stop saying that! <laughs> it's locked. It's locked! Find an access to the theater. Really? Couldn't make it couldn't make it simple for me, huh? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Had to had to make it tough. Okay, I'm gonna find out how to get in the theater. <laughs> I'm not messing around. <laughs> I'm gonna find out how to get in that theater. How do we enter into the theater? Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Okay. Um, there are scaffoldings running along the side of a building here. Look for a place where you can teleport up onto the scaffolding. Then look up for a hanging wooden platform you can teleport to higher up. 
Use the hanging platform to enter the open door on the top floor on the back of Finsbury Theatre. All right, let's do it. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm looking for scaffolding on the back of the theater. I really can't not fight anyone if I don't want to. One of the uh, things that this game was touted as is that you could actually play the entire game in some sort of pacifist manner. And you really can. You could just dodge everyone. Okay. I see scaffolding. Can I poof? Can I poof up there? Hmm. No. Is it around this side? Hmm. This does not seem likely. I don't see scaffolding. Where's the scaffolding you speak of? On the Finsbury Theatre. A leech! A leech! <laughs> a leech! A leech! Where's the sca oh! Is that it? Ah! Poof! Poof. Can I poof up somewhere higher? Can I poof up? Hmm. Something about climbing up was the general idea. Find scaffolding, and then there should be a way to poof up higher. Uh, no, still not seeing it. Let me read those instructions again. There are scaffoldings running. You'll need to buy back out. Are we ready to proceed? Exit the west end to the northeast from the entrance where you initially came in. Turn right and head southeast just before the barrier leading back to Whitechapel. Look for an alley on the left before the area where you saw the Ekon. Huh. Exit the west end to the northeast. Where's that? Exit the west end to the northeast. Turn right. It's how they should have the barrier in the middle. I only have left where the area was of the Econ. An alley on the left. Where is uh, Where is this alley on the left? Okay, so is it like around here that the scaffolding is? Hmm. I think I need to go. Yeah, leave me alone, vampire. It's a leech! Kill it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh. That kind of scaffolding? Scaffolding along the back of the building. It might be. Oh, is it this? There's an this... open window on the second floor. There is an open window on the second floor. 
Oh, fine. Let's fight. Let's fight. Give me that blood! And take the claws! Man, those guys are big. Alright, so this is definitely where I want to be. And now that I've killed those guys, now I can poof up this way. So I need to get up to that open window. Does this let me get in there? Into the theater? Check it out. We're looking for Doris Fletcher. Ooh, this is Doris Fletcher's acting school. Oh, Doris. Doris. Oh, is this Doris' suicide note? Oh, no, someone else. For I can't stand the pain anymore. It's like my entire body is breaking apart since that bitch infected me. <gasps> Doris is behind the infection. For days now, she keeps hiding in her room, giving orders through little written notes and only rehearsing that night. I witnessed one of her so-called rehearsals. She walks on stage, angry and hateful, spitting and whining about her fading beauty. She's infected, rotten to the core, and she plans to infect everyone in this place and then everyone in London. May God have mercy on me and my soul, since I refuse to be an accomplice to this devilry. Fun time, 70. How are you? Welcome back. How are you doing? We are searching for the source of the vampire epidemic, and we believe it's Doris Fletcher and her evil, evil acting school. <laughs> if your parents and family always said that uh, acting would lead to nowhere... They may have been right. I did not mean to exit that building. At least in this game, they would have been. They would have been correct. But we gotta find Doris Fletcher. And we gotta put an end. Put an end to her madness. Oh. Is this a catwalk? To you. Nations of Ooh, is that Doris Fletcher? In front of you stands the tall queen. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Yeah. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? Where? Oh, hello. Hello! Boom! Boom! I'm just shopping. Oh, she explodes! The, uh, the puke zombies explode. Our puke vampires explode. Puke vampires! Okay. Let's find Doris Fletcher. Oh, she's acting on the stage. We're gonna have a boss fight, aren't we? We're gonna have a Doris Fletcher boss fight, aren't we? Can I poof down there? No? No! Ha! <laughs> Did she just say, alas, poor Doris? I knew her well. That's funny. Old Doris Fletcher's Diary. London, 17th of August, 1918. I saw her in the flesh. The witch from my childhood nightmares. I saw her and I shivered. Her voice, her face. I know that she was in the hospital. Uh, I know she was sick and I wanted to witness her suffering. I may have reinvented myself, become a famous actress, erased those wicked years from my memory. I can't forget I'm her daughter. When I saw her frail body in that small bed, I had to hide my tears, for she was looking at me. She recognized me. She saw the hate in my eyes, and she smiled, my pale corpse of a mother. And the worst thing was, I felt no satisfaction seeing her in so much pain. The worst was not to suddenly remember the beatings and the abuses, no. The worst was to recognize the hate I felt in my heart when she looked at me, for it was the same hate I saw in hers. For in the end, I can't escape being her daughter. We are the same, my mother and I. Ooh, old Doris Fletcher. Had a problem with her mama. All right. Boop. Check it out. Doris. Oh, Doris. 
I'm ready for that boss fight, Doris, I think. I think I need to be higher level, but what can I do? But I offer only love. Oh, what is she wearing? What is she wearing? Woe to you, nations of Alright, let's keep uh keep searching. Keep searching, searching. Oh, 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 come on. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> All I needed to do was take one more hack, and it still wasn't enough to kill it? All right. Sappho. Doris Fletcher in Sappho. Oh, interesting. All right. All right, Doris. I'm ready for you, Doris. I'm ready for my close-up, Doris. I cannot enter. Alright. Apparently I have to find another way in, Doris. Apparently I gotta find another way to get to you. What's this? Loot! Doris Fletcher, an archer, something or other. Um, should I go this way? Another uh, indication that... Um, this is a game you can actually play without violence, is you don't have to drink human blood to survive. You can eat rats. You can drink who the blood of rats. You? you who dared enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? Oh, you got a hunchback going on. to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ooh, what you got under the cloak? What's ah, under the cloak, Doris? But Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed. She's by Chinese the one. Nice. Flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel What's under the blanket? What's under the blanket? But I can help you. Help I'm a me. Doctor. Help you. Doris Fletcher. Help is me. No help you. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was. And Ooh. the queen. She's gonna have a big old be. nasty hump under there. You got a big old nasty hump under that blanket. I know, watch her hidden arm. Oh, is the hidden arm gonna attack me? Is it like a weapon? I'm gonna use my uh, shotgun here, too. I'm gonna bring out my perfect shotgun. Uh, perfect pump action shotgun. There we go. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, check out the puke zombie. <laughs> Woo Eat that, Doris. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of sheep. Oh, look at that arm. Look at that arm. Look at that arm. Eat that. Behold that, queen. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Reload. Ho ho ho! Oh, look at that! Uh, wait. Ew! <laughs> I beg you, wait. What? Look. I, that's so gross. I didn't want to die. <laughs> and I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. I can fix Will you. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Uh, we'll just squeeze Does it out. We'll just squeeze. Beat a little faster now. <laughs> we'll squeeze all the stuff you out. Fancy me then, Doctor. <laughs> Oh, do you fancy no, me, Doctor? My dead heart will beat for only one. Oh, it's Lady ah! Ashbury. Huh? Is she pretty? Is oh, she Doris, so you've got a real tender? issue. To me, yes. Yuck is ah! right. Well, at least she isn't puking anything. <laughs> There's a plus. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. What? What you just said. That I did not come here to kill you, yes. Oh. But I realize now the threat you embody must This is a little harsh of me. Well, don't do it. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Put down the lantern. Will I be remembered? Put down the lantern. Will you? You were Doris Fletcher. The greatest actress of her generation. This is not going to no work. One can take that from you. <laughs> She's not buying it, Jonathan. And farewell. No! Oh, she, she burnt her arm. <laughs> she lit her arm on fire. Oh, so that's a little dramatic. This is a little dramatic, Doris. Farewell, Doris. For a final encore, it's a little dramatic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man, that perfect pump action shotgun is pretty good. So dramatic. I love it. Who are you? McCullum. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that scal infestation. Who's this guy again? I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I've put all the pieces of the puzzle together, Oh! I'm sure we'll have a little chat. Oh, was he with the pre-win guard? Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. Stay away. For that I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. Oh, achievement unlocked. Death on stage. <laughs> escape from the theater. I gotta escape? I gotta escape? Okay. Let's, uh, all right, well, let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this theater. Da, 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 the da, West da, da. End should be safe now, but London is not. London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. Oh, during the Great Hunt. Okay. Let's exit the theater here and see uh, where they want me to go next. And then I think we're going to call it an end to the stream for today, everybody. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. I need to leave now. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's stop the game there. Uh, the game just automatically saves. I don't think I have to do any, any actual saving myself. But yeah, there we go. Guys, thanks so much for uh, hanging out today for Outlast and for Vampire gameplay. It was a lot of fun today. I'm really loving the game Vampire. It, it's a lot of fun. Uh, loving how it plays. Uh, love the story. Love the characters. Um, I'm going to try and finish uh, Vampire next week, I think. I think next week uh, we'll try and finish up the game. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You're very welcome, Shotgun. Thank you for the hosts, everybody. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for, uh, yeah, just all the ways of supporting and hanging out with, with me while I uh, try and enjoy and play some uh, good games for your entertainment. Uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. at Eastern, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, we're going to be playing uh, The Sims 4. We're going to be building a uh, vampire family. We're going to make a vampire sim with the aspiration of creating a vampire family. Um, Rainbow Deanna, uh, who's in our chat, she's made a house uh, for this vampire to live in. And then we're just going to do some Sims vampire gameplay for uh, Spooptober. But then once the sun sets, so probably around six o'clock or so, we're going to play a game called Welcome to the Game. Uh, Kristen, one of my subscribers, uh, has sponsored me to play this game. So once it gets uh, dark enough to be sufficiently spoopy, uh, we're going to play Welcome to the Game uh, tomorrow night. It's kind of a puzzle jump scare kind of game so fun time i hope you'll be there to uh help me in all my jump scaring <laughs> when i get uh terrified by this game but thanks so much for being here and for hanging out uh let me uh give you some music to see you on your way out and then we will catch all of you tomorrow have a great rest of your thursday night everyone